and I'm bringing live coverage here from Lagrano in Spain as we see Natoras La Rioja against Hitchi Motors of Russia. And finally, Zapra should get on the board. Selmam's gliding one in. And let's see what he's creating. That's the sec. Two real backboard shooters. Selmam plays it up. Gotta save again, but the rebound comes out and it's Spies there. The timeout is called by Zapra there. Local city rival. We can go so far this season. And they rely! Skeddy goes in the second line, sets it up for Stelma and goes through his own. No luck this time and no foul gold. Crowd aren't happy with that. Uh, we've got a fast break from Motor. Uh, no good. Double out, what do you get? They hold up this and get a real shot off. Beautiful pass between the legs, but no good. Very nicely set up. Again, we come up. Ukraine, 8 4 so far. Zhukov plays it out. And beautifully finished. And nicely set up there. Back with him, too. And now it's up to Lario. Let's we'll see what they can change up. Very active. Attacking defense from Motor Props. The La Rioja players are going with an elbow, but I'm sure that. Uh, good boy, the new old boy. No look there for Shepard. Manko just coming in, almost waiting to force the issue a couple of times and allowing. Won't mind what they Line player and they get themselves a penalty. Nicely done by the line player. Good to see him back. Only played four games so far this season and had an ankle injury back in October. This is the first game since. And it's a great start for eight. House. Very nicely. All the play coming through the center here. Malasanak is a bit lost. And they force it out to the wing. That's the ah, Strong offensive defense. We're really starting to see the play side that's coming into it now. Putting a bit of pressure on the away siding the referees to hold. More organized for the attack. Again, at the center. Have to play hands up. Here's a chance. Oh, no good. Half break for La Rioja. Oh, beautifully spin <laughs> spun around from the right wing. Pedro Rodriguez. Break goal. Gotta be happy with this type of performance so far. Videos and much more. Torres, <laughs> who's scored so many goals in front of the season. 53. 14. 13. The second defender comes in just as. Not a bit of a resume. Set up. Oh, nice to play. That's a beautiful unlucky oh, way. Go to Ukraine next week for the second leg. 
much better defense than the, the end of this first half and he's up with our shape. No, he does not. And no, he's not playing much on the court. He's doing well from 7 meters so far. And he leaves it behind. Fast break opportunity. Just over 10 seconds left. Will he go alone? He does. That's the crossbar. And one more opportunity for Motor. Can they work it out? He does. Oh, and the go just at the buzzer. Looks like it stands. Great. End of the first half. Scores 15 14 at half time. Of two halves within this first half. And at Torah Slavriha burst out of the blocks into an 8 3 lead. And it looked like they would run away with it unless Motor. One of two matches this weekend in the playoffs. Tomorrow we have uh, Skjern from Denmark facing Meshkov Brest from three tomorrow afternoon. And we'll have a second leg in both ties next weekend. But all eyes in this game first. The sides have had their chance to uh, Group D, the final game of the group phase. Both sides have recently had experience of the last 16 handball in the Bailux CHF Champions League. Last season, La, La Rioja qualified for the last 16. And we're ahead. They faced the best prime in the last 16, but they've got to get past Zaporoshi first. Zaporoshi got it to the last 16 two years ago, where they were off. He's back. Shoot off. And he's flipped. First time after losing it. Selmam is back and drops the ball. Oh, the ball slipping out of the hands of Lariola players a couple of times already in this second half. They're happy to take on the defender one against one despite his minion of size. Yeah. He finds the wing this time. Oh, and he does a beautiful goal. Now he's Got a shot just before the Belarusian the fast break. What can he do with that? Bugashi goes on his own. The Belarusian makes it 19-18, and all of a sudden the leads. Four starts on the home side. Back where he does, but they are really missing. He had a very uh, bit hard to play. Comfortable situation. Ah, he bounces in. Of Sergei Rutenko, Bugashi was fantastic with 36 goals, and he's bringing that form into the Champions League. At the moment, have to find a way to get out to the wings because that just isn't working. Yeah, and the concept play wasn't working, so they just try and force their way through, and at least on this occasion, uh, Juke comes in, yeah, he was clearly standing inside. Fancied himself against a big attacker, but he was already inside, and as soon as he got himself involved, it was always going to be a penalty. A huge amount of ground, and there was nothing opportunity before that. Surprisingly, uh, as Little Brook have found a way to find their wingers that are in attack. Vigo here goes it alone. Kind of play. They want to play as much as they lose in that time, trying to force it into the line. Gowski, once again, unselfish. Number 21 for Zaporoshe Gleb, Kolaresh, the Russian player in this first, first international game for the team to decide. There you go. They start this side is the lead. Maybe not the lead they want, but they have an opportunity to extend if he has anything to say about it. it looks like the better score, it sounds like the better score time out. Alright, yes we have. Clock should stop now, yes it does. Need to earn a lead and going through with an away leg in Ukraine to come next weekend. Flensburg and Bethlehem. The last 16 is test themselves against the best. Need to retrieve the ball of La Rioja. And they force a shot in the end. That is not smart. Number 11, Baki says, hey, I can do it myself. If he doesn't score, he'll win a penalty. The question now is whether he hits. Malasanakasad from Richard Kaplan. He's really keeping his side. As the 
final five minutes here. Oh, they try to force it. another miss. Not another chance. Zaporoshe to take now. Zaporoshe take the lead and this time and he gives his side the lead. This is way through. At least in this match, it's been enough. Mostly through this man who can He does it again! Uh, Flario at the draw level again. Oh, forces in with the line player again. Those two players in the center. Oh, they really want to leave them. Let's get going alone. Oh. And that's an attacking foul. Maybe forced upon by Zaporoshe. They're not happy with that decision. But their attack wasn't doing much anyway. And now. Oh, they call a timeout. Timeout. Just 30 seconds left in the game. They hold the one goal lead. And an opportunity for them. In terms of team play. The individual excellence of the likes of Kowski. Shuko. And basically, Orlando is all made up of the pass. Let's get Kowski goes low and he sticks it in. Paris Kowski, the centre back from Zaporoshi, scores his 10th goal of the game. And he makes it 31 29. Make that 31 30. Seconds left to play here. What does Zaporoshi do? Yamanko goes, shoots straight at Kaplan, and that is it. Full time. The crowd not happy with the way besides their team's performance. Great start for the home side as they went into an 8-3 lead. As you can see, the live is traveling fans. Zaporoshi there. The game ends. The full house, Lago has 30. But with the way a game like this, it will go lead to take home with them to Ukraine. Hopefully will be very comfortable. However, both sides with a lot to improve on and if